Hey streamers, it's Madison. Hope you're all doing well. I'm coming back to you with another review of Equalizer APO. I'm still shocked to see tons of streamers not utilizing this free software to improve their streams, and if you ask me, I'm kind of disappointed. Equalizer APO is a free microphone preamp that runs in the background of your PC. It's similar to other programs like Voice Meter, but uses a lot less processing power on your device, giving your computer more power to do what you enjoy, like stream and play games. The best part about this product is it's a set it and forget it. Once you dial in your settings, you won't have to modify them again or restart the program. You modify the program and just let it run. The only downside to this product is what you put into it is what you get out of it. There aren't any simple dials or buttons to select and everything will be modified by you. Sucks, right? Maybe a little bit too complicated, but that's okay because I'm actually gonna give you a quick rundown of what you can achieve with this system and teach you how you can take your streaming game to the next level. Alrighty, everybody. I'm going to kind of free ball this part of the video because I'm recording and speaking at the same time. But here's a little bit of some insight into what my Equalizer APO looks like. Um, at this moment, I'm running just simple four plugins. I know that probably already seems like a lot. I've seen these as high as like eight different plugins. I think even in my previous video, I had more here than what I usually use now. Um, so it, it's kind of important that you don't overdo it and you find out what works best for you. Um, if you toss on too many filters, you're going to start to really mess up the clear and uh, crisp, natural sound of your voice. And you don't really want to mess with that. I'm using everything here today to just enhance my voice, remove some background noise. Um, and when I say enhance, I mean just raise the volume, make it a little bit louder so you can hear me, uh, remove any pops or clicks that might be uh, naturally picked up by the microphone and those types of things. Now, when you first launch your program, it's going to look something like this. You're going to have a config text here. This is your primary audio source, and you're going to have nothing in here. So when you first set up, you'll have none of these other boxes and just this once you have everything selected correctly. This is just your main microphone. And what you're saying in this file is you want this system in this moment to only take control of this device. It's just basically helping the system know what you're trying to use. So now that you have your device selected, you can then start adding different preamps, equalizers, expanders, so on and so forth. And what it's going to do is it's going to edit your mic in real time while this is running in the background. So that way you don't have to adjust your microphone or anything. When you hop in Discord, you hop in fucking Skype, even if you hang on to, you know, just OBS streaming and you're just streaming in general, this will be modifying the mic in real time. So it'll be no need to have like OBS filters or anything running because your system's already doing it for you. What I like to do is I preamp my mic. That's just something that I've learned over time helps best. It just kind of raises the volume of your mic. Um, when you tend to filter things, you're diminishing the sound quality and how loud something is. So when you're going to add filters, I always recommend to up your volume a little bit with a preamp. You might, of course, hear background noise or anything that you're trying to eliminate, but you haven't added your filters in yet. So of course, you're going to be hearing that a little bit louder up until you add those filters. What I like to then jump into is these REA plugs. They're these different types of uh, plugins for the microphone that are filters in real time, like noise gates, compressor, stuff of that nature. So to kind of give you an insight of what mine looks like, this is an equalizer that was created by these REA uh, plugs. And what I've done is I've sat here while listening to my own microphone and slowly adjusted each dial to what matches my voice. Things like these are awesome. You can really modify your sound to be clearer, more like maybe podcast like or or maybe you want to just have like a more you have a very deep bassy voice. You want it to bellow a little bit more when you're either talking or singing into the mic, anything like that. You can really modify these settings. Unfortunately, this is not going to work for you. No one sounds the same, and EQ is going to be adjusted best by listening to yourself and basically matching the microphone input to sound like your real voice as if you're talking, if that's your thing. If you want to sound like a robot, you want to sound, you know, make an alien type voice or anything like that, you can also do that in here. That's what an equalizer will do. Today, we're just utilizing enhancing our voice for podcasting, streaming, and stuff of that nature. But like I said, it's kind of sky's the limit. What you put into this is what you're going to get back.
Up next, I like to use an expander. Today's expander is by ATK. Um, it's a little bit harder to find a link to this one, so I'm not necessarily gonna recommend you get this one. I know the uh, REA plugs does come with an expander of its own. Um, I really can't say too much for A2K. I had gotten a link to a file a long time back, and I unfortunately don't have it anymore. But the REA plugs system is very similar to this. Instead of dials, it's just like bars you drag up and down. Um, this is what a typical expander would look like uh, on like a physical mixing board. Um, but it works just about the same. An expander is what you'd want to utilize to remove background noise. Um, I know it is typically called a noise gate. Uh, however, all a noise gate is doing is just shutting down your microphone when you're not talking. And the second you talk, you, you can hear your fan or anything in the background. An expander is going to utilize the system software to detect just your voice and eliminate that background noise. Um, so shortly here, I will give you a demonstration of what it sounds like if I disable this. And it's, it's kind of impressive what the system can do without diminishing the quality of my uh, my vocals. Because if I just had a noise gate on and every time I talked, you could hear a, a loud background fan and then it just disappeared, it would sound kind of weird. It, it wouldn't sound very natural and it would definitely sound like you're, you're sitting in a room full of engines. So um, I definitely recommend to check out the expander. Similar situation with the EQ. These settings will not match yours. These I change this every time I change the room my computer's in, if I'm moving or anything like that, because your surroundings, what you have going in the moment, if you have an AC running and then not an AC the next time, that will affect what you can adjust in here to eliminate that background noise. The last program I like to use is the REA Plugs compressor. Um, a compressor is just really good at modifying your pops and how like loud you become. Um, this is definitely the most complex part of the system. I got to say the EQ seemed kind of complex, but a lot of that's just kind of sliding buttons up and down. Everything in here is adjustable and it will change the way your mic sounds. I tend to not really mess with it too much. What I'll do is I'll come in and quickly change my settings down here to this ratio. I can't quite remember what it is originally. It might just be one to one. I recommend a four to one just because that seems to work best for vocals, especially for me. Um, if you're in like a very loud environment or your mic is naturally just loud in general, it picks up a lot of noise. Even when you talk, you just kind of peak your mic a little bit. You might want to set this higher, but I just find that this works best for me. So I touch these dials. I will then touch the attack and release times if I just don't feel like they matter or if I feel like they don't really match what I'm looking for. Um, for example, like this release, I don't think I touched. I do think I did adjust this attack here. Um, and it's the same for like these uh, high pass and low pass filters. You can kind of mess with these as you go. I do definitely recommend setting your system to listen to your microphone as you do this and kind of just say test, test or anything out loud as you adjust. Um, as you kind of dial things in, you're going to learn a lot about your microphone and how it works for your voice. Uh, and you're going to find, I think, that you can really squeeze the most out of even what might be like a $15 microphone from anywhere. You're going to be able to sound just a little bit better than if you were just plugging it in raw into your computer using it on OBS and then using the generic OBS filters that don't necessarily do what you want them to. And just to give you an idea, I know these kind of seem either, and I'm assuming one of two ways, they're either going to seem very complex and easy, or you're going to look at this and you're going to say, okay, but exactly what is this going to do for me? This looks like a lot of just modifying dials. I can use a program like voice meter where I just click a couple buttons and it does this for me. What matters is the fact that you have tons of control. Unlike voice meter and those other programs, when you're just modifying the settings in them, you're turning a dial, you are changing values from one, two, or three, whatever, and it it's just doing whatever the system is programmed to. It, it, it's not set specifically for your microphone. It's a shotgun blast type of system. And when I say that, I mean the system is made for everybody, so there's going to be some issues because it's not perfectly defined for your setup, your microphone system. This program allows you to take a little bit more control without having to get something expensive like a $600 preamp that physically sits on your desk. Um, it allows you to modify all of your settings and then just set it and forget it, let it run. Right now, I'm going to give you an example of how my volume and, and my audio could change if I was to disable these settings. Uh, so I'm going to go in reverse real quick. I just took the comp off. Now my expander's gone, so I'm assuming you're probably going to hear a little bit more sound behind me. 
and now I just lost my EQ. So I, from how it looks, it looks like I'm very loud. I probably sound extremely flat. And then if I take my preamp off, you basically just lost me. I'm now just this shallow sound in the middle of nowhere. There might be some light fan noises in the background. Every click I make, if I press my keyboard, you're gonna hear every single thing. And this is just my raw input. This is, if I plug my microphone in, this is what I would get. I can, of course, hop into OBS, adjust the filters, or I can hop right here. And literally while I am talking to you, my voice just changed to the modified format, running live into OBS, and not really taking a thing for me to, to adjust it or mess with it. I definitely think this program should be utilized more by streamers. Unfortunately, from my understanding, it is freeware that was then abandoned. It does work on Windows 11 and all prior systems. I've tested it on back to Windows 8. Um, it does seem to just work flawlessly. Uh, what I've done is I've actually listed below a link to a copy on Mediafire of the last drop of this software that was updated. Um, and then what you can do is you can follow that link, install it for yourself. Um, it is completely safe. I haven't had any virus complaints in the past from people using that link um, because it is just a direct download from the website. I definitely recommend you check it out. Even if it's something you end up not using, just install, uninstall it and put voice meter back on. But I think if you want to take a little bit of time to just research audio engineering and how to make your microphone sound crisp, clean, using these types of filters that are used in studios to this day, I definitely recommend give Equalizer APO a download. It's going to be just kind of a game changer for your entire stream. Thank you so much to anyone who has watched this video or watched my prior Equalizer APO video. Uh, unfortunately, the last thing I have for you is a little selfish plug. I am going to ask if anyone is interested, I do offer streaming at twitch.tv. I am twitch.tv slash Mr. Madison. That is an A where the O should be. Um, I do tend to stream Dead by Daylight as well as games like Raft, Project Zomboid, and just kind of generally talk about streaming, um, kind of the world of it and the development of your own kind of streaming channel. It's a pretty chill environment. We all just kind of chat and hang out. If that is your thing, please hop over. Definitely make sure to drop a follow. I just would really appreciate it. And if you're someone that wants to see more YouTube videos like these, please drop a like, a comment, or subscribe. It definitely encourages me to kind of keep making this type of stuff and help educate people. So once again, I do appreciate you watching this video today, and I hope to see you either in the comments next video or the stream very soon.